Use small talk to get ahead in your career. If you want to have the kind of opportunities that bring you to the next level, then you need to build strong relationships at work. How do you build strong relationships? It all starts with small talk and asking questions is a big part of that. So in this lesson, I'm going to share over 60 great small talk questions to help you make strong connections with your colleagues, clients, and even your bosses. Hi there, I'm Derek and this is English for Professionals, the best place to improve your professional English communication skills. A quick message before we get started, if you want to get really good at small talk so you can progress in your career, then check out my online course, Small Talk for Professionals. In the course, I teach you how to make small talk with confidence in just 12 weeks. If you'd like to find out more, click on the link in the description below. And now let's get started with our questions. We're going to focus on the following six categories. Travel and holidays, family, eating out, music, TV and cinema, hobbies and sport, and culture. Now you'll notice there aren't any business topics in there. That's because we don't always talk business when we're making small talk. In fact, we often make stronger connections with our colleagues and clients when we talk about stuff outside work. Now let's go ahead and start with our first topic, travel and holidays. I'll say each question twice. To practice your speaking and pronunciation skills, pause the video after each question and practice saying it out loud. This will help you to learn and remember the questions. And don't forget to leave a comment if you can think of any other good small talk questions for the different topics. Any holiday plans this year? Any holiday plans this year? When do you normally go on holiday? When do you normally go on holiday? Have you been anywhere nice recently? Have you been anywhere nice recently? Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? Was it your first time there? Was it your first time there? How was the weather? How was the weather? Where did you stay? Where did you stay? How long did you stay for? How long did you stay for? Did you do any sightseeing? Did you do any sightseeing? Would you go back there again? Would you go back there again? Was it good value? Was it good value? Can you think of any other questions to ask about this topic? If you can, leave them in the comments. Now let's look at the topic of family. And before I share the questions, I just want to say that we have to be a little bit careful with this topic. Not everybody wants to talk about their family. And in some cultures, it might be a very private topic. And it also depends on the person you're talking to and how well you know them. So just be aware of that before you start asking someone about their family. And now for our first question. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Or you can also say, do you have any siblings? Do you have any siblings? Do you have a big family? Do you have a big family? Are you close? Are you close? If you're close to someone, it means that you know them very well and you like them very much. You have a very strong relationship. Do you get on? Do you get on? So we can ask this one about an individual or about the family as a group. And when we ask, do you get on with your family? It means, do you have a good relationship? So people who don't get on with their family, they don't spend a lot of time with each other because they don't really like each other, okay? They don't get on. What about you? Do you get on with your family? Now let's take a look at the next question. Do you have kids? Do you have kids? How long have you been married? How long have you been married? Where did you meet? Where did you meet? Or we can also say, how did you get together? How did you get together? This is a great follow-up question about the husband or the wife or the partner. Are there any other questions we can ask when we're making small talk about family? 
let me know in the comments. So eating out is our next topic and this is a great one if you're actually at a restaurant with your colleagues or with some clients. Let's take a look at our questions. Do you often eat out? Do you often eat out? So just to clarify, to eat out means to eat at a restaurant and not at home. Do you have a favorite restaurant? Do you have a favorite restaurant? What kind of cuisine do they serve? What kind of cuisine do they serve? If you're not familiar with the word cuisine, it's another word from food. It comes from French and we borrow it in English. Is it expensive to eat out in London? Is it expensive to eat out in London? Is there a good selection of restaurants in Innsbruck? Is there a good selection of restaurants in Innsbruck? Is there a tipping culture in Japan? Is there a tipping culture in Japan? When we ask this question, we want to find out if it's normal to leave a tip or not. How much do people normally tip? How much do people normally tip? Do you have any other ideas for questions on this topic? If you do, leave them in the comments. Music is another good small talk topic. Imagine you're at a restaurant with your colleagues or clients and there's some live music playing. You can use this topic to make small talk. First question, what kind of music are you into? What kind of music are you into? What did you listen to when you were a teenager? What did you listen to when you were a teenager? Can you remember the first album you bought? Can you remember the first album you bought? What's the best concert you've ever been to? What's the best concert you've ever been to? Do you play an instrument? Do you play an instrument? Do you listen to radio or do you prefer using apps like Spotify? Do you listen to radio or do you prefer using apps like Spotify? Now let's talk about TV. Do you watch much TV? Do you watch much TV? What kind of shows do you watch? What kind of shows do you watch? Are you watching anything good on Netflix these days? Are you watching anything good on Netflix these days? Or a very similar question, is there a good series that you'd recommend? Is there a good series that you'd recommend? And a good follow-up question, are there any well-known actors in it? Are there any well-known actors in it? Or are there any big names in it? Are there any big names in it? And two more follow-up questions, how many episodes are in one season? How many episodes are in one season? And how many seasons are there? How many seasons are there? And now on to cinema and movies, another great small talk topic. Have you seen any good movies lately? Have you seen any good movies lately? And some follow-up questions. What's it about? What's it about? Or, who's in it? Who's in it? And here we can also use the same question we used when talking about TV series. Are there any well-known actors in it? Or are there any big names in it? And another good follow-up question here. Would you recommend it? Would you recommend it? What kind of movies do you like? What kind of movies do you like? And here's a good question for someone that you know and a question that helps you keep the conversation going. You're into action movies, aren't you? You're into action movies, aren't you? And a great question to finish off this topic, who's your favorite actor? Who's your favorite actor? We'll start off this topic with a tag question. These are really great to get a conversation going. Use something you know about somebody, but make it into a question. You play golf, don't you? You play golf, don't you? And a couple of good follow-up questions. How often do you play? How often do you play? When did you start? When did you start? How did you get into kite surfing? How did you get into kite surfing? 
Asking someone how did you get into something is a great way of showing more interest about a hobby or an activity that they like doing. We often ask it about activities or hobbies that are unusual. And some good follow-up questions here. Is it difficult to learn? Is it difficult to learn? Or we can also say, is it difficult to get the hang of? Is it difficult to get the hang of? Is the equipment expensive? Is the equipment expensive? Is it dangerous? Is it dangerous? And here are some other useful small talk questions on the topic of hobbies and sport. Have you ever tried skiing? Have you ever tried skiing? Do you watch much sport on TV? Do you watch much sport on TV? Are you into football? Are you into football? Which team do you support? Which team do you support? Or do you have a favorite team? Do you have a favorite team? Can you think of any other good questions on the topic of sport and hobbies? If you can, leave them in the comments. Now let's talk about culture. Are there any special holidays in your culture? Are there any special holidays in your culture? Do you have a favorite holiday or festival? Do you have a favorite holiday or festival? Another interesting question could be, what are weddings like in India? What are weddings like in India? And a follow-up question, how do people celebrate? How do people celebrate? Is there a traditional type of music in Morocco? Is there a traditional type of music in Morocco? What do people consider polite or rude? What do people consider polite or rude? Are there any topics that should be avoided? Are there any topics that should be avoided? Make sure to leave a comment if you can think of any other good questions on this topic. And remember, if you want to get really good at small talk so you can build strong relationships at work and have better opportunities, then check out my online course, Small Talk for Professionals. The link is in the description below. If you liked the lesson, give it a thumbs up and watch one of these next. Thank you.